Hey, it's Kim. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I would sit down and do a currently inked with you. So at the start of this year, 2023, I decided to switch things up a little bit. I have a lot of inks. I actually did film a ink collection, a fountain pen ink collection video that you can see on my channel. I have a link down below and up in the cards for you. But since that time, I realized that I need to be using my inks more frequently so that I can cycle through them and so that can give me an excuse to actually get more. So what I've been doing, started doing, this is only February, so I started doing it in January, is setting up a currently inked for the month. So that's what we're going to be doing for February together. So I've got everything here, sort of a mess, a little bit of a mess. Um, because I don't know, I think I know which pens I'm going to use, but let's kind of get everything situated and ready. And to start with, I'll show you what I have for my currently inked for January. I actually did post this on Instagram, so you can check that out if you, um, want to see what I had inked for the month of January. Okay, I think this lighting is a little bit better. So here are the inks that I had for January. And this very simple, very basic setup that I use in this passport size insert. This one is from Good Ink Impressions, and I covered this in my ink collection video. Um, and it has the 68 GSM Tomo River paper. So that's what I'm using for this. And I'm just going to, for each month, use a page and then document which inks I'm using for that month. This actually will come in handy because I've had situations where I couldn't remember or I looked back on notes or something that I had written and I couldn't remember what ink I used. I maybe wanted to use it again or <laughs> I just had some questions about the ink and I had no idea which ink I used. So I do think this will be a good resource for me in the future. All right, so first I'm gonna set up this page by of course writing February. And even though there's not much ghosting from the previous month's page, I'm not sure how well you can see that, I am just going to do each month on its own sheet of paper. So I'll start February right over here and hopefully spell it correctly while the camera is rolling. And I wondered or questioned whether I really needed to write 2023 and that is because I'm thinking that I'll use one of these little books per year. I have some other ideas for what else is going in this book. I am going to, and I have this sections off already, but for my specific pens that I have, every time they're inked, I'm going to write like a little bit of a writing sample. Also, what I want to do is record when I purchase them, what the nibs are, any other information. So just for continuity's sake, I will put 2023 there. All right, so I typically only want to have five inks in rotation for the month or five pens in rotation for the month. I am the type of person who likes to ink up everything, I will admit. There are some pens that are not inked that I have cleaned out. There are quite a few pens that I really need to clean out. But for the most part, when I do these currently inked threads, it's going to be five inks. And as we go through all of them, I'll explain to you what I'm using them for. And based on the comments from that video for my ink collection, there was a lovely viewer named Alex and she and I were talking about um, the fact that we want to kind of switch up inks more often. Normally for my daily book or my daily planner, I always use black ink. Always, always, always. Can't really get past it. <laughs> I'm in love with black ink. But what I've decided to do, since I do have a lot of inks that are very dark and could pass for black, I think maybe um, they would still satisfy my need or my desire to use black inks. Um, so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm trying. So this first one is going to be Sailor Shikiyori and the color Shigwire. Um, and for my daily planner, I should also mention that I'm picking an ink that coordinates well with the Sterling Ink 
subscription kit for the month and there's a lot of purples in there so I think this one will work extremely well I am trying to line this up with the page with the previous page so I'll start by doing a little bit of a swatch here and this pen has actually been inked for a little bit a little while since I've had this pen and this is the Twisby 700R vac in the iris color I believe that's the name of it and as you can see here this ink pretty much looks black <laughs> but it really is like a really really super dark purple so as I said I think this will satisfy my black ink requirement but still helps me to rotate my inks a little bit oh and I wrote that wrong oh yeah yeah that's fine. I wrote Sailor, Shiguire, and then Shikiori. And I'm wondering if you guys can even see that very well. I'm hoping you can. Of course, I'll provide some close-ups. But we'll just do the obligatory swipes. And I am feeling like this is giving me some hard starts. So maybe I should have prepped this a little bit better. Oh, and something that I also found with the 700R had a bit, bit of an intermission because I needed to loosen the end of the pen here. I find that, um, and I think it might say it in the instructions, but for better ink flow, you should loosen the cap here, uh, the top of the plunger, just a little bit. It shouldn't be sealed tight. So that's what I was doing. So I will be using this pen and ink combination for my daily planner. So. Since I've gotten over the whole issue with the black ink, I think this will be fine. Um, I will say I'm actually going to top this up as soon as I'm done because she needs a bit more ink. Um, I will say that I'm very used to using 100R Vac. Is that what it's called? I'm very used to using a retractable pen for my daily planner. So this is one that I have to twist off the top. This is one that I can't post if I wanted to. So I just have to be conscious of where I'm sitting the cap down. I don't know how I'll feel about that. Um, it's highly plausible that even though I will stick with this ink for the entire month, I may switch the pen to some other retractable option. The only one that I currently have retractable and not inked up is this Platinum Kyrados. Is this inked up? No, I think I cleaned it out. This Platinum Kyrados. So I could switch over to this one. So we'll just see how everything plays out over the course of the month. I am still waiting for my Pilot Vanishing Point to get back from Pilot. I sent it off for repairs. And that is my most favorite pen and it feels like it's taking forever. But I'll survive. Okay. So the next ink I'm going to do is the one that I plan to use for my family journal. So that is in the five year Hobonichi that I've been using and I use it to record just family things and photos and the ink that I'm going to use. So I already went through all of my ink swatches and tabbed off all of the inks that I know I want to use for the month. I just kind of have to, to assign them to a purpose. So the one that I want to use for that, I think, is going to be, i skip one. Hmm, so I want that one, not that one, or that one. Okay, so the one that I think I want to use for that purpose is going to be Diatromentis Johann Sebastian Bach. And it's a very dark, um, purpley, still in the purple family. Um, I do want all of the inks to sort of coordinate together. They don't have to, but I'm just picking them this month so that they kind of coordinate a little bit. So very purpley, kind of like a maroon color that I'm going to use. Oh, and I'll show you my swatch page for the ink that I just put down as well. So that's what this one is. Sailor Shikiori Shigor. Shiguire? Shigor? not sure <laughs> but it is a purpley sort of ink and it does write extremely dark almost black depending on the pen that it's in all right 
So this is going to be the one for my journal, my five-year journal. So the pen I'm going to use for that is going to be my Caveco AL Sport in the Golden Espresso color. And I have this already inked. And this is a medium nib. So this is a medium nib from Caveco. I originally ordered this pen with an extra fine nib, but I don't love it. So I had then ordered a, what should I do, one, two, three. I then ordered a medium nib and I do like it. I find it a little bit too thick in some circumstances or in some situations, but I'll get over it. The extra fine though just was way too scratchy for my liking. Um, so that's why I just went with the medium. I do find that I think in, I'm going to run out of space with this name. I do find that with the Caveco nibs, I prefer the fine. All right, and then this is espresso, and it's a medium. So that's the one I'll be using for my five year journal. And then the next one that I'm going to be using or that I'm going to be swatching is the one that I'll be using for my daily journal. I think I'm going to use this one. So I just posted a short video, a quick video, like an unboxing and first impressions of this Platinum 3776 in the celluloid stone. And in that video, I also inked it up with Sailor Shikiori Do You. So this is the one that's very much like a black ink. And I'm going to use this, like I said, for my daily journal. The color is Sailor Shikiori Do You. And this one is a fine nib. And this one writes extremely well. I do love it. So I could probably write with this four hours. Which is why I think it's a good candidate for me to use for my daily journal for this month. So that's that one. And then the next pen that I need to ink up is sort of like what I consider to be my wild card. So it's the one that I'm going to use normally on my monthly, um, if I, of my daily planner, if I want to highlight something or if I want a note to stand out. I really have been wanting to use this Ferris wheel press and the color is called Queen and Castle. Really want to use that and I do think it could act as a nice color that kind of stands out or jumps out at me but I also really want to use this Diatramentis Lilac. Of course it goes with the whole color scheme if we're thinking purples so I'm not sure which one I want to do or which one I want to use. Will I tire of such a bright ink? Maybe. And I still really want to use this one so I think I'm gonna ink up the Ferris wheel press Queen and Castle and I'll be putting it into this Pilot Kakuno and this one has a medium nib yeah this is a medium nib so I will ink it into here and the thing with that however is I don't have a converter for it so I'm going to use and you might hear me opening up my drawer here I'm going to just use an empty Pilot converter and use my syringe to fill it up. All right, and here's the sample of the ink that I have. I got this from Goulet Pens not too long ago. 
And I just spent a lazy Sunday afternoon swatching all of these new inks into my ink journal. So I can see like what they'll look like. And I think this one will look really good in this medium nib pen. So I'm gonna ink it up, and of course we'll have to wait a little bit for the ink to come down. Just making sure, yeah. So I'll ink it up. I won't need a lot, so I'm not even gonna fill up this entire cartridge. And the sun is doing weird things, so you may see the lighting sort of change. Okay, I'm only gonna fill this up about halfway. And then I'll squeeze the cartridge a little bit just to help it flow through the nib, through the feed, down to the pen. All right, and my little test page, which I'm gonna run out of test pages. I need to come up with a better solution than just scribbling on the last page of this little notebook, maybe. I do have some scrap paper, scrap Tumor River paper that I should be using for this. Okay, looks like we are thoroughly inked. So like I said, this is the Pilot Kokuno and the medium nib and the ink is Ferris Wool Press Queen and Castle. Sort of like a mustardy kind of color with some gold, what is it called? Spark, it's not called sparkles, <laughs> what is it called? Shimmer, with some gold shimmer in it. So this one of course is much better for a thicker nib like a medium or anything even broader than that because I feel like in a fine or extra fine I likely would not even be able to see this ink which would bug me. So I don't know. Alright. Even now, it's not really coming out all that well. Maybe I should have given it a little bit more time. Yeah, to get down through the feed. So let me give it a minute. I wonder if it's the shimmer that's kind of clogging things up a little bit. I don't normally use shimmer inks for this reason just because I fear that something is going to get clogged up uh, but we'll see we'll see how this performs throughout the month and of course the sun is coming out and it's super bright now so let's see if I can kind of tone that down a bit all right so that's what the Ferris wool press queen and castle looks like all right, the next ink, or the next and final one that I'm going to show you is the Caveco AL Sport. And there's construction going on outside, so please ignore that if you can hear it. But it's the Caveco AL Sport in black. And this one has the a fine nib, and it is in black. The nib is black. Not the silver one that typically comes with this. All right, so this pen is going to be used for my business planner. My business planner for this year is the Sterling Ink Common Planner. And I have decided to only use, oh, sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. I've decided to only use blue inks in my Common Planner. So, well, for now, until maybe I get sick of that. So, this one is the Diatramentus document and the color is fog gray also known as blue gray I believe I 
this is a really nice blue color I'm not typically a fan of um, blue inks but if it's a blue grayish kind of ink or even like a super bright blue ink like um, Pilot Urushizuko Kompeki um, that's a black a blue ink I can get behind so let's do some swirls and this pen writes really nice I do quite like it so the fine nib is my preferred nib for Kaveco Sports alright so that is the the Astramentus and Fall Gray. Alright, so those are all of my currently inked for the month of February 2023. Again, I'll take you from the top. So this top one is Sailor Shigiori Shiguire, and that is in my Twisby 700 R Vac pen in the iris color. Um, and that's an extra fine nib. This one is going to be for my daily planner. This next one is the Caveco AL Sport in the Golden Espresso color. And in it, I have Diatramentus Johann Sebastian Bach. And that's a medium nib. This one is going to be for my five-year journal. The next one is Sailor Shikiori Do You. And this is in the Platinum 3776 and Celluloid Stone. This one is going to be for my daily journal. So this one is my family journal. So the five-year one is my family journal. And then this one here is my personal journal. And I also might use this for my Bible study, like my daily Bible study. I probably will. Because um, those two pens for me, my personal journal and Bible study, are typically interchangeable. They're always like right next to each other. The next pen is inked with Ferris Wool Press, Queen and Castle. And this is in a Pilot Kakuno with a medium nib. This one will be for making any notes that I want to stand out in my daily planner or just playing around with a new ink that I wouldn't typically use. And then the last one is my Caveco AL Sport in Black and I have in this Diatramentus Document Ink in the Fog Gray color and this is the one I'll be using for my business planner for the month of February. So there you have it, my currently inked for February 2023. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.